This is my summary of the Saturday afternoon session of General Conference. Neil L. Anderson. Someone's store was protected from a storm? I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> because they always paid their tithing. Even though the church has $200 billion, we still need you to pay 10% of your income. But it's okay, the church recently donated $55 million to help people. The only solution to life's problems is our version of Jesus' gospel. Even though Jesus didn't actually teach tithing like we know it today, and even though the Doctrine and Covenants doesn't teach tithing like we know it today, and even though the past prophets have said that one day we wouldn't have to pay tithing, pay it anyway. John E. Newman. Jesus invites us to bring our little ones to him. The man who built his house upon the rock digged deep. Dug deep? For the rising generation, they have to have faith in Jesus Christ for themselves. Teach your children about Jesus Christ. Feasting on the words of Jesus Christ looks like whatever works for you. The repeating of small efforts every day can do a lot to brainwash you. Joaquin E. Costa. President Nelson reminds us frequently to use the correct name of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Faith in Jesus Christ is a solution to all of our problems. Gary E. Stevenson. God-given gifts make gifted people. Exercising spiritual gifts requires spiritual exercise. Let me offer you four principles that will help you recognize the promptings of the Spirit. One, stand in holy places. Two, stand with holy people. Three, testify of holy truths as often as you can. Even if you don't believe what you're testifying, testify anyway. Four, listen to the Holy Spirit. And if you can't hear it, the leaders will tell you what he's saying. What the Spirit tells you will always be what the leaders have already told you. But it's still personal revelation, even though it's not. And five, Latter-day Saints should be covenant-keeping people. Un Wan Chue, stay on the covenant path. If you're not on the covenant path, return to it. If you pay your tithing, everything will be okay. When God speaks and we obey, we will always be right. If you're asked to serve in a calling and you don't want to, do it anyway. If you want to be happy, stay on the covenant path. The church does indeed have a monopoly on happiness. Anyone who says differently is selling something. Alan T. Phillips. Even when you leave your child at the gas station, you can still find a gospel-related teaching. My parents forgot me all the time. <laughs> Judge less, love more, and extend the love of Jesus Christ through your words and your actions. His talk was actually really good, and I loved his accent. Ronald A. Rasband. In order to gather Israel, we need missionaries, and we definitely don't have enough missionaries. So especially senior couples, we need you to serve missions. So we've already put the pressure on young missionaries, but it's not really working. And if you've already served a senior mission, it's okay. You can serve two of them. Who knows? It might be the greatest chapter of your life, but it won't be the most important date of your life. Psh. Anyway, again, enjoy conference.